are doing another number one person, whatever you want to call it. We're watching the number one Pele player today. His name is Kens. Here are his current stats. He's not a bad player. He, if you watched my video where I played against a Fortnite pro, that was the first time I ever ran into him. He was in my game. He was pretty funny. He got yelled at by his mom to shut up. That video is actually hilarious. So a lot of people want him to lose this game. <laughs> I just want to see him play Pele. His Pele stats are honestly very good. Most of his other stats are kind of bad. You'll see he's 2,700 MMR. He's got a lower than 50% win rate. Uh, he was actually trying to trash talk me the other day when I have a higher win rate than him, higher MMR, all that stuff, but we don't talk about it. See, his Pele games are really good. His other games are sometimes questionable. Really good Pele games, though. We'll see what he can do. Is his mom hot? Honestly, I don't know. She yelled at him, uh, said some cuss words. I laughed my butt off if you watched the video. It was hilarious. And that's where we're at. You got your pay like <sighs> what, 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 what do we got to talk about here? Do you do any weird builds? I want to I start off. I don't want to be caught off guard. You doing any weird builds? Do, doing anything nah, different? I just do a regular build unless I'm in the solo lane. I do the fight. You know what I'm saying? Like I saw the solo build. lane build was actually pretty good for a solo lane build. Um, for jungle. So you're not going hybrid. You're going full damage. Are you building Jotuns? Yeah, I'm building Jotuns. Soul leader? Yeah. Okay. So you're going standard build. Um, I guess my biggest question when I when we when I played against you the first time or with you you were my team you were playing ADC and you were having a solid yeah. game like you were having a really good game that game what's up with it seems like Pele and Kali are your only really really good games nah, all right, look, I'm gonna keep it a bug I can only play like jungle I'm not gonna lie are, are, are those goal, your main like like have you mained those gods though nah. like Pele is what you played forever Kali like what uh, give like a core nah, set of gods nah so you go about Thor Pele, you go about Mercury Pele really just been the only thing I've been playing for a little minute, but Tali, I just started playing recently though. All right, are you playing Pele every game still when it's up or are you just playing whatever? Nah, not every game. I, you know what I'm saying? I'll be trying to switch it up. Not every okay. game though. Are you playing to, like, are you picking this shit to win? Like you're obviously trying to win, get your Mar up. Is there something like, is this still your go-to if you want a dub? Honestly, like a lot of times I pick Pele, like if I see a Bakasora or something like that, like, so like sometimes you know sometimes i just pick it like when i see a team that i know i could just smoke them you know what i'm saying okay yeah, yeah counter picks kind of looks like i could yeah you actually but, might have a good game against their carries the old run and hebo you might you yeah. might actually mess them up you have an ishtar solo though so i am very interested to see how you deal with this yeah. as a jungler i don't know if I've, i haven't i expect a couple junglers but not a lot and you are at that mmr well you're top mmr in this game so i expect you to run this lobby uh I'll probably pop in and ask you questions if you do any weird stuff, but I'm just gonna sit here and watch you play the game and do your thing. I bet. All right, let's let's see what he's got. Let's see what this man's got. He talked. He talks a lot of trash. I respect him not like just being serious about it. Oh, he's against Oath. Oh, okay. So he's in a you know he's in a he's in a good game. I think. Oh, he's got Alpha on his team. I didn't even notice that. Um, I'm pretty sure MMR is skewed for his team. I think. Oath MMR should be higher. So Oath is a professional jungler. You've seen him. I played against him a bunch lately. If you've been watching my streams. Yo, why is this so dark? What is going on? Bro, his UI. Hold on. So he, he has black bars when I spectate him, right? So there, there are black bars here. Let me readjust this and see if I can like... Oh, it changed. It changed, bro. It like resized because he got in the game. He plays stretched. So we're going to spectate it like this. He plays stretched. So we aren't actually looking at it stretched. The, the aspect ratio is super dumb. But on his end, it's like CSGO giant head stretched. I... I actually am going to ask him about that real quick. I had to ask you this one thing because you talked about it. You said you play on stretch, right? Yeah, I do. Is there a reason? Like, did you, is it from coming from other games? Is it for Not aim? Yet. So, like, playing Fortnite and um, playing Stretch, I just kind of, my eyes got, like, kind of used to it. Okay. Uh, I it remember when the Fortnite meta was, was to put it on Stretch. Sorry. It don't make it too much different, but, like, it's just a little bit bigger. And, like, characters are a little okay. bit bigger. Okay. Yeah, I had to ask. I had to ask. All right. I mean, I can put it back to no, no, you're no, good. I want you to, no, 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 I want you to play on your, your thing. It makes it that much more unique to see how other people are playing the game. So we're going to, like, there's going to be a black bar on this side of the screen. Daedra, honestly, 
might be able to resize and fix stuff. I don't know. Um, I think if I made it, if I centered it more, he could probably resize it very easily. I'm not going to mess with that though. Cause then it'll be weird for straight. <laughs> so he plays stretched, which if you don't know what that is, just Google it and you'll, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. His UI is crazy. He has one of the more different UIs that we've seen health bars right in the middle, kind of like world of Warcraft style. Almost. I feel like I'm so used to my old school UI that everything like this just I don't know if I can play on it at all. He was asking me why I keep my map so far up in the top right when I play. And it's just what I'm used to. Same thing. Like he's got his more centered. I like his map placement, actually. And I, I actually do like the fact that he has everything translucent. So you can see through it the right amount. And I was playing Hebo jungle, too. I think I played against Oath and he was playing Hebo mid the other day. How old is he? I think he's like low, young, tw like like 18, 19, somewhere in there. So when we met him, if you haven't watched the video, watch the video for sure. But he was talking about how he's a Fortnite pro, but he wasn't talking, you know, like talking about actually being a Fortnite pro. He was, that's not good. He wasn't actually a Fortnite pro. He would do like 1v1s for money or something. He said. Oh yeah, his keybinds X, C, mouse button five, mouse button four, left shift for blink. R is his second active. T is his health pods. We'll have to ask him after the game. No, hustling Fortnite 1v1s is definitely not pro. <laughs> that's, that's not how that works. Yeah, that video, it, w it was a funny interaction the first time. So he gets first blooded by Oath and Baron. That matchup, I don't know if he realized it. He probably hasn't played against Baron much, but Baron onto somebody who can spam like Evo is rough. He can't move. He can't get out of it. This should be a good gank as long as the knockup lands. There it is. It's a good gank. That's good. realistically he'll probably know now if he ever has this matchup again to just you don't fight that in the mid lane unless they over position or your mid laner does something aggressive x and c is weird but i've used x and c in a lot of games so I kind of i don't know what his hand position is for movement though he must he must use his thumb like i do so i use my thumb for a lot of stuff when i'm playing because the way i sit with my keyboard and i you guys have asked and i've talked about it i bet you that's what he does it's just such a weird way to press your abilities. Like X and C are way down there. He might be little and have little hands too. I don't really know how that would impact it, but that might be the thing. Let me make how your hands will be with his keybinds. I don't know because I don't know. I assume he's just using WASD. And then his thumb is being using like what he's using to press X and C. Using mouse but mouse buttons is super like not super strange. It's really normal, so that doesn't throw me off. A lot of people like mouse buttons. I'm not a huge fan of them when it's a game with aiming, but I get it. Dang. Did they just lose that lane after he ganked it? Uh, by the way, I talked about this. This is the number one Pele. He's number one by, I think, like 100 points. He broke 2K while I was on big. No, he broke 2K last night. Last night he was 1975, I think, and now he's like 2050 or something. So he's been grinding it pretty hard. Uh, I think his team has the MMR advantage. I don't know what Oath's MMR is, but Oath, the Hebo on their team, is a professional player. So I assume his MMR is a little bit higher than everybody in the lobby. And his four teammates probably have lower MMR to even it out. That is my guess. 
not confirmed. Oath might not play much ranked, and that might be why. Because I played against him the other day, but he was not at the top of him in the lobby. Enemy spotted. got the flank. Okay, an interesting opener with the ult. Him saving his knife there was kind of kind of interesting. Like cool to see. He, he didn't pop his shard though. He's getting baited by both. Yeah, that's gonna kill him now. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. If he pops his damage shard, there's a good chance they kill the horse and might be able to kill the Hebo. I don't like the damage shard. I feel like I don't use it correctly and because it's been nerfed so hard, I don't even know if it's worth picking up. I think if he had the attack speed shard, he'd be the wing shard, he'd be in a better spot. Wing shards are very good on a lot of gods that have sustained damage. HP HP bar being in the middle is not that weird. If it was a little more transparent, it would be better to me, but it's in a spot where it's easy to see, I guess, for him. I think that's Oath, right? That's the, that, that is the, I think that's the pro Oath. I could be wrong. Maybe it's someone with a similar name. Ultimate is ready. What's up, Sammy Dumb? His movement's been good. His counter ganks have been good. Does time knock up? He does. Pele's ult on a pretty short cooldown. The way he ganked left, and I, I talked about it, he opened with his ult and kind of saved this too. Most people would have just instituted, I think. They would have blinked two and then ulted after. And I kind of like the way he played it to get a ton of AoE damage off and kind of turn the fight and make Kibo have to do his shit right away. Some people I've watched in these rank one series have played gods that I'm like, I, I try not to be mean. I've talked about it when I got coached. I want people to realize how good SPL players are, like pro players and some players that just don't play the same gods are over and over again at just playing this game. That they definitely are better on gods and some people that play uh, do weird and bad stuff, even though they're rank one, like that Mulan solo I had, he did some really questionable things. Oh, this is a good gank. That was... Oh, he has the Ishtar solo. Oh, I forgot. I completely forgot. Five to four. They're down 2,000 gold already, though. And he's down a level. Not a... Uh, oh, he's all... Oh, he's... That's rough. I think he misplayed there. He was trying to be super patient. I, I know he didn't think he would take that much damage. He needed to instantly go on the Hebo the second that the Horus was going to knock him up. The Horus is also babysitting the Hebo, so he's going to have a hard time killing Hebo. Horus is a very dumb god when it's a split fight or 1v1. Yeah, he had to ult the second Horus was going to go on him. Oh, this could be good. Nice. That would have been a better time for him to knock up, though. So, so could have got a double. Oh, uh, he was babysitting him, too. Nice. That was good, though. There's so much fighting in this match. Eight minutes in, 13 kills. Pele does not fall off, either. Late game, Pele is good. Oh, baby. That is super unfortunate. Pele's late game can be very nuts. It hurts. I played against him, what, last game? I was playing on a different account, and he was playing on a different account, and he was playing Pele in the game. Uh, he had his ADC rage quit and start AFK feeding, but uh, I got to experience a little bit of the Pele gameplay. Pele does overkill people. Pele's has a strange kit. You have to be really familiar with the kit to not, you know, overkill and dump too much into somebody and still be able to keep fighting that's why the longer this game goes the more i'm gonna pay attention to how he's using his abilities and, or you know he might just be kit dumping 
Oh. He's in trouble. Good play. Uh, is he gonna go back in? Smart disengage from him. Bro, this Horus is so annoying. I'm not even playing and this Horus is annoying. They didn't kill Hebo either. I think he blinked out. Either he he blinked out or or older on ulted him ulted for him to get out. What's this UI? It's this UI. I like the custom UIs, man. Like some of them, I think are dog. I don't think this UI is that bad. I, I don't really particularly like it, but I, I don't think like like the fact that his buffs and stuff he didn't move them. He moved his health bars, but didn't move a bunch of his other shit. It's kind of weird. Like if he centered his abilities next to the Pele logo and then move the buffs and everything somewhere else so it was just in a better spot i would i think his ui would be solid i just like that you can customize this stuff now it is oh he's in trouble the full commit i don't know if he kills this guy yeah, he killed him but he's dead as fuck blink 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 nice huge all right Scylla sacrifices life Oh. Still a sacrifice his life to save him and now they're both dead. That would have been crazy. He should have blinked underneath the the camp. The back camp. He got sucked. I don't think he liked it, but he got sucked. Papa Kev, I was just talking about this before this game started. You have to build muscle memory. It's the same as Doing something like like learning how to write left-handed or something if you're right-handed, you just gotta build in the muscle memory by playing a lot with the mouse and key. You don't have to just play Smite, play any game, use the mouse and keyboard as much as possible. The more you use it, the faster you'll you'll build that muscle memory and the easier it'll be. Yeah, like Shmeep said, I say it'll take a month to three months, depending on how much you play. If you're a hardcore gamer, a month. If you're kind of a casual gamer, three months. To be, and I mean to be really comfortable to the point where you aren't really thinking about what you're doing. Your right tower. I do think it's worth it to swap. I'd swap all day. If you're not playing a shooter with aim assist or like a racing game, I feel like just swapping is always going to have a ton of value. Been playing CSGO and Valorant? Okay. Dude, I kind of want to open up some Valorant, or not some Valorant, sorry, some CSGO cases. I used to do that a lot back in the day. Oh! All right, he played this the best he could. He actually played that great, but this Hebo's being babysat so hard by Horus. That is crazy. They're in a big trouble. Who's his mid laner? Yeah, so. Uh, oh, no reset. Is he not his dash? Zoom, you're good. Oh, you were out. Oh, you're still out. Yeah, you're not out. He was out, I think, if he just walked in a straight line. That Horus is sitting on this Hebo so hard, dude. It's wild. They're down 4k gold now. 5k gold. I was thinking late game would be really good for them. I'm having two ADCs and a mage and a you know a jungler, but now I don't know if it will because their late game is going to be slow and to get him there. Your right tower is under attack. Rank the all right. So the god ranking system in Smite is not an accurate depiction of like this is the best person on Pele. It's the the person who's winning the most on Pele with the least amount of losses in terms of rank one most people don't play the same god over and over again so a lot of the people who are rank one not everybody just a lot of the people who are rank one aren't actually the best that's my they aren't really the, the best players ever where occasionally you run into somebody who is a high level masters grandmasters player who's a rank one on a god he had the beads this horus has ruined his game and this is what happens when a support is playing correctly. If I were coaching, obviously I'm not trying, I'm not talking to him. He can't hear me right now. Um, I would tell him he needs the war to be more patient. 
His team's not warding enough. He needs to make sure that Horus' abilities are down before he goes in. He's never going to get a kit dump off. He's never doing his full kit without being Horus stunned and knocked up. Is Mindy number one on Plosh? I think he's like number 15 or something and he hasn't played in five months. That's jungle hyper carry Kali hyper carrying isn't necessarily a thing anymore in smite but Kali is one of the best junglers in the game and she is a, a hard carry dude this Horus you see what just happened right that Horus just missed his whole combo on him and then ulted to cut him off this is I've never seen someone do this at this in my life it wouldn't surprise me if this Horus is in the stream and knows he I'm watching him play it would not blow my mind not saying like he's using the stream to get an advantage but it wouldn't surprise me if he knows i'm watching this game and he's ruining this guy's game on purpose not saying it's happening just wouldn't surprise me because he can't play the game on payload right now oh my god that's gotta be oh no i don't think there's any alt accounts The Hebo is just getting babysat so hard. That is Oath. That's what I thought. I was pretty sure it was him. They need to farm. They all just need to focus on farm. He's only level 13 on Pele, so he's super far behind. He's tried to fight too much, and with the Horus playing like this, it ruins your game if you're not farming enough. I had someone in my coaching channel on Discord, uh, by the way, if you're interested in coaching, it's $20. That, the base level of coaching is $20 a month. He was asking, like, how do I just deal with that situation where you're being focused and you can't really get in and you just have to be way more patient. And I was telling him, you need to kind of seesaw farming and ganking and being a part of fights throughout the early mid game. And then in the late game, you have to just be more patient. You got to wait for people to go in, wait, wait for you to see where they are, wait for abilities like Horus knock up and stun to be down. Oh, he is very far behind. He's five levels behind this Hebo right now. His team comp's not going to help him either. With the ADC solo, it's going to make his job a thousand times harder. Look at this. This team was... And Horus is there. If they're not duo queued, this Horus is just gobbling down the Hebo's nuts. Dude. They are in and around his mouth at all times. This is what he needs to do. Him going to farm is smart. Just, he got his speed. No point on forcing another fight. He should look for an invade though. Knock up versus knock up. Oh man, that's really risky for him. He had to use his beads too. Oh, he's screwed. He needs to go right. Oh, he's so screwed. The knock up made his autos miss. Go through tower, go through tower. Go through tower. I think you can commit and go through the tower there. Wild. His Ishtar can't even split push or do anything either. Yeah, he has no front line. So his job is very difficult. It's funny because he talks so much shit. So I really wouldn't mind him getting pooped on. But the way he's being pooped on is just so... It's just crazy. Oh my gosh. His teammates really could have done a lot more too for themselves in terms of farming. Like Alpha could be should be close to level 20 right now rather than being level 16. Because Alpha's also very far behind. So Ken Sheet, thank you for the 31 months. I'm gonna be real with you guys though. So the way this Horus is kind of just sitting with the Ebo is the way I dream people would play when I'm in the game. We will win every time if my teammates just play around me. So it's really smart for this horse to be like, okay, this is a professional player. If I make sure he has a good game, I get a free dub. It makes the game so easy for the Hebo and he's going to hard carry when you give him a lead. Quick, 
Yeah, the wind conditions there all day. Oh no, Fafnir's leeching from him. Smartest play when you're in a, a game like this, you're getting shit on. They're down 8k gold already. Give up every objective and just split push. Your goal is to hit level 20 and try to get full build before the game's over. And if you do that, you have a chance at winning. Oh, I assume Oath is solo queued. I don't think he's queued with the Horus. I think the Horus is like, yo, I have this guy in my game. I'm going to babysit him. The Horus has followed the Hebo around since level four. He has been everywhere the Hebo goes. And it's not a bad thing at all. It's it's kind of crazy. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Horus is playing cut off for rotations and ulting into the fight. That's frustrating. They more than likely lose fire here, but they could, they should get gold. It's just some keybinds. We talked about that for a bit. There's the fire. Power is something they need. They need all this gold. They go tier two. Oh, the other team's gonna get Phoenix. Actually, they can't go tier two. Their Hachi's not gonna make it through this fight. They're probably gonna die on Phoenix and lose the game here. Okay, Fafnir dying is actually troll. Baron's decent. I think I played against this Baron too. I think I played against almost everyone in this match the other day. Before I went on vacation. Nice. Big pick. Slows down the Phoenix losses. Does he go on this? I think Hebo's fishing. Yep. Gonna go farm smart. Level 20 and full build, man. So he has triple lifesteal in this build. This build that I was talking about in the beginning, asking him questions if it was a normal build. This is not, it's not that weird. It's not a bad build. But it's strange to see triple lifesteal. Especially in a game where he's pretty much insta bursting them or, or insta burst, like getting bursted. What's up, Slice? What do you think Smite brings in active items? Dude, I've been dreaming of active items in Smite. I think. Oh my gosh. He's out. Dude. I've been dreaming of active items for a long time in Smite. I think it would change the game, but I don't know if they'll ever do it. It'll make console Smite way too difficult for people. And the change will throw off a lot of people and they won't want to play. It'll be more of a hardcore. That swap will be easier for hardcore players in Smite than your casuals. So I doubt they ever do that. I honestly thought maybe with season 10, we'd see that happen with an item or two. Not a bunch of items, just like one or two items. And then we, we hasn't even like, there's been nothing about it. So I don't think we're ever going to get it. What's up? Active items, the items that have uses. So like one of my, one item I really want is called push book. And it's basically supports will build it and you can use it to move your teammates a little bit. Imagine like, you remember Kamazots had that little leap? I think his leap's a little bit bigger now, but remember Kamazots had that little leap? It'd be an item that would push people in whatever direction you wanted to push them that far, but you could push your teammates or enemy team, uh, teammates or enemies like people. So you could push people out of being killed on your teammates. You could push enemies into, you know, into range to be killed. Items like that would be dope. Ooh, okay. They've got a little bit of defense going on here. This Phoenix definitely dies. Oh my, his knockup wasn't up. Oh, big, big, big. Oh, he didn't knock up. He has his blink. He's got a blanket. Yeah, he was hitting so hard. He didn't hit his knockup. I think he thought he, he used this too, but he didn't. They just lose the game here. Wait. Uh, I think they lose the game here. Yeah, they're just ending. Dude, there's no shots. <laughs> what? What am I watching? The game's over. This game is over. 
Wow. The Ishtar did not help, but that Horus ruined, like, made the game so easy for, for them. The Horus won them the game on top of Hebo playing good. All right. We got to unpack this one. Yeah. <laughs> when you type this Horus, were you typing it for your team or for me? Huh? When you not typed this Horus? Yeah, okay. Because <laughs> you, I was talking about it. That Horus ruined yeah, your game. Most, I'm not gonna lie, that had to be the most cringe game I ever played. That man. bro, that Horus followed the Hebo around and just babies had the Hebo so bro. I've never seen anything like that before. That was wild. Bro, I just couldn't play, bro. Like it was literally impossible. Like, I had no so I had no front line, I had a Ishtar. Yeah, just, like, that's another thing. If you watch it back, you're when you were you were I think you were like four or five levels behind. I was like, the problem is even if he farms now, they don't have a second front line, so his game is nah, gonna be yeah. impossible to play. Like, uh, that's I wild. I don't know, bro. It's just like, it's just unfortunate. It's, it's all good. Though. I just can't believe that guy sat on him. That was nuts. <laughs> Every bro, time he you, bro, went on somebody. Like, dude, that dude, I don't know, bro. He's just, he's uh, undercover. I don't know something, bro, because what I just watched. <laughs> I've never seen someone babysit someone like that in Smite before. I don't think I, I literally don't think dude he would he would dub his whole kid bro, on you and then like, ult to make sure you couldn't get to the fight still bro, like I to block you off like fight bro like it's just like every time it's just there that last uh the last little hebo play at the phoenix did you think your two went off no because I mean, you ulted him and he walked away from you and you didn't use your two if you did two you would have killed him that's what i'm saying like i don't even know bro i don't know but it's whatever yeah, it's all good I mean, there was some good points, but that I just that was wild. Like, I don't even blame you for that. You could have definitely farmed better when, yeah. when like when you realize like, OK, this guy's literally sitting in this guy's nuts. But uh, yeah. that shit was crazy. I've never seen anything like that. Not like. I felt like I, I should have been able to blow some people like the Oleron right there. The, I don't bro, when I look, I looked, I used my whole kit on that baron that he's full hp i mean I know well he ulted like, he ulted instantly he didn't be in and his ult is damage mitigation no, so I, mean, no I, I took the ult that's what i'm saying like i i ate the ult and then i used my whole kit so i was like bro what the heck i don't know if he was he tanky what was his build you had a scoreboard nah he was he was a he was like half hp it bro. was just hp yeah it was his his soul his staff and his e oh, staff yeah. that's all it was he just had a ton of hp the other thing is all your other fights, that Horus was there. So he was bro, feeding I, them Moros. I try to tell you, bro, like that was unplayable. Dude, that was like insane cringe, bro. You know Oath is a pro player, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that's what happened. He saw that Oath was on his team and he yeah, just like, I'm going to babysit yeah, him right. and make sure he can win me the game. I respect it, but like, damn. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy, dude. The only thing you really could have done was just farmed and started split pushing because there was no fighting. They were roaming around us three the whole time. I'm pretty yeah, sure I played yeah. against them the other, like, before I went on vacation, and the Baron tried to do the same shit, so it doesn't nah, surprise yeah, me. When I saw this ADC, I mean, this solo it was like, it was looking bad, bro. Oh, and I got, I had to ask you this. Is triple lifesteal your normal build? You like the triple yeah. lifesteal build? Yeah. Do you ever swap I don't, out? I don't, well, to be honest, I don't look at it as, like, triple lifesteal, though. Like, I look at it like... I don't get like I like the blood forge because like you get a kill, you all somebody, you get a huge shield. Yeah, the passive. The serrate okay. is good for for uh you know what I'm saying pen, soul eater. It gives you know some pen life steal and some cool and some cooldown. Life you know steal is just extra on top of the base stats. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of yeah. Like, that's why I, I was saying I don't think the build's bad. It's just strange seeing three life steal items. It's really I mean, weird what, to see three life steal items. You, what would you build then? What would you change? Uh, I I don't think I would like force change it, but like maybe you want. I mean, you're gonna go hard seeker, so you're not gonna build crusher. You build mm -hmm. magi's. I've seen. I think I've seen you build that, right? So do you, do you swap out the blood force for magi sometimes? But, uh, that's a little bubble. Right? A bubble, yeah, 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 bubble. No, no CC shit. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I don't really build that. Like, or like, like building a brawler since they had four healers would have oh, been yeah, pretty good. Yeah, I mean, my my build. I mean, I just really switched to it. That one right there, like recently, but like what I used to build before this split ended, I used to build um. I'll show you right now. I used to build boom, and I would go. I mean, I'm not saying this is bad, but I just feel like um I need a little bit more pen and stuff. I mean, 
Brawlers does give you pen, but uh, I build. I build this. And then serrate it. Yeah, nowadays using, um, you're, you're delaying percent pens dice. so much right there. That's the why you yeah why you swapped, which makes sense. Yeah, I stopped using erudite because I feel like it just didn't do that much for me in this meta. I need more pen. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. No, I mean I don't think the other build is bad. I was just interested, and in the fact that you kind of are just ignoring the triple life steal makes sense because when I built almost, I think I built the same build you were you had, uh, and it feels good when you're having a solid game. You're able to wk wk a little bit. Yeah, I try to fit like. I try to see how transcend this way. I don't know if I really like it on her, to be honest. Like, you can go like yo is transcendence, but I don't know, bro. I, I like just. No, I, I hate transcendence. I'm in the same boat as yeah. you. I I think your build is fine. I just think that Horus made it so you couldn't play the game. Nah, <laughs> he dude, that he did a good job. Like, That's just bro, crazy. I, like, bro, I won like my last ten games on her, bro. I promise. It's just like that was just so unfortunate. I, I wanted to look too. I think. I thought I don't know what his MMR is on uh on Oath. I feel like it had to be higher. Yeah, I'm I'm pulling it up right now. Yeah, he's 3200 MMR. So you got put into a lobby where he was supposed to carry them and they just actually babysat him so they could he could carry them. Yeah, his MMR is you were top of MMR on your team and he's six what five hundred MMR higher than you. Nah, that's just unfortunate. Yep, that is what it is, dude. Well, GG's, appreciate you doing the video. Uh, hopefully, we can do another one eventually All and right. show uh, what happens when you don't get babysat or a person doesn't get babysat. GG's, dude. Yeah. All right, GG's.